In this section, we're going to begin some applications of logarithms, and we're going to continue on state standard 14. You still need to know how to use the properties of logarithms to simplify logarithmic numeric expressions and identify their approximate values. And state standard 13, use the definition of logarithms to translate between logarithms in any base. Now, in the old days, we would calculate logarithms by looking up in a table. And there is a table in the back of your book, should you care to look them up. But the number typically wasn't listed because we only had numbers that we could find between 1.00 and 9.99. So today, it's much more efficient if we uh, use our scientific calculators, and that's how we're going to approach this today. So rather than the table of logs, have your scientific calculators handy. And normally, when there's not a base written, we're referring to what's called common logs, which means logs base 10, because we have a base 10 number system. Just like when you write x, you really mean 1x to the first power. If you see log and there's no base written, we mean it's base 10. All right, so find the log of 3.8 base 10. As you look on your calculator, there's a button that says LOG, and there's another one that we'll talk about in a future lesson. But all you have to do here, and it depends on your calculator, some calculators you will type the 3.8 first, then hit the LOG button, and we'll round our answers to four places, so that's approximately 0 0.5798. It's very important that every step of a problem, and this problem only had one step, but if we, when we get to the problems with more than one step, every step we round off to four places. Other calculators, you'd have to press the log button first, then the 3.8, and you'll get 0 0.5798. Let's try to estimate in our mind if we're in the right ballpark. 10 to the 0 power is 1, and that's smaller than 3.8. 10 to the first power is 10, that's larger than 3.8. So somewhere between 0 and 1 is what my answer should be, and 0 0.5798 is between 0 and 1. All right, in the old days when we used tables, 97,500 wasn't there. We'd have to convert it to scientific notation. But with the advent of our calculator, we're either going to type the number first and then the log button, or the log button and then our number. And we get approximately 4.9890. If it's an exceptionally small number, we used to have to convert that to scientific notation, but not anymore with our calculators. So whether you type the number first or the log first, it's 000542, and we're going to take the log base 10 of that, and that's approximately negative 3.2660. All right, now we go backwards, and we play a little guessing game. The log of some mystery number, base 10, turned out to be 0 0.8995. And we played the same game with the table of logs as well, in fact, I'll just scroll quickly. We would look through the table for these four decimal places and try to find 0 0.8995. It's much easier, much more quick on our scientific calculators. But here's a problem we don't know how to solve. And if we don't know how to solve it as a log, we're going to try to rewrite it as an exponent. So the base is 10 raised to the power 0 0.8995 equals y. And yes, we've seen integer exponents, positive numbers, zero numbers, negative numbers. We've had rational exponents, where our exponents were fractions. We've had irrational exponents, like the square root of 2. And we are continuing with decimal exponents. Now, in your calculator, probably not a separate button. But right above the LOG button, you might see 10 to the x written, 10 to any power. And that might be a color. And there might be another col a button the same color as that. And you might have to hit that second function to get your answer. So when we look for that, the LOG button, above it should be 10 to the x. Look for another button the same color. Could be second function, third function, inverse, or shift. Or maybe you just select this from a list of logarithmic functions if you have a newer calculator. So what we need to do typically is type in the exponent 0 0.8995 and then hit that second or third or inverse or shift and the log button and we get our answer is approximately 7.9341 so we'll try that on your calculators and make sure that we have that correct 
All right, again, same kind of game. Rewrite it as an exponent, the base 10 to the power 2.4825. We're going to use this button or function on our calculator. 10 to the 2.4825 power is 303.7386. Remember, we're rounding everything off to four decimal places. Some of our calculators do eight decimal places, some 10, some 12. So if we round everything off to four, we'll all get the same answer. And why four? Well, that's what we used when we used the table of logs. And I do believe some of the answers in the back are calculated using the table rather than a calculator. All right, so we've got to explore a few more things on our calculator now. Try to find the fifth root of 493. You'll see a square root button on your calculator, and you might see a cube root button on your calculator, but you won't see a root beyond that. But we can write this as the radicand with a rational exponent where the root index is the denominator and the 1 is the numerator. So we want 493 to the 1 -fifth power. And 1 divided by 5 is 0.2. Now, in the previous example, we took 10 and raised it to any power. But in this example, we want to raise any base to any power. And on your calculator, you might look for one of two choices for buttons. One of them is going to say y to the x power, or it might say x to the y power. Newer calculators have like an upside and down v, which for a long time in the computer world has meant raise it to some power. So we're going to type the base 493, hit either one of those buttons, depending which one you have. We're going to type 0 0.2, and then we have to might hit equal or execute. So the base the function, the exponent, might have to hit enter or equals or execute depending on what your calculator calls it. Round that to four places, 3.4560. Alright, how about 0 0.173 to the sixth power? We take that, type the base in, hit the y to the x or our exponent function, put the sixth power in, we get 0 0.4 zeros 2681. Now I know we said round the four places, but if we have two or three or four of them zeros, let's go to four non-decimal places. Okay, we've explored our calculators a little bit. <clears throat> We're ready to solve something that we had as the standards a little while ago, and that's solving exponential equations. 3 to the 2x power is equal to 5, solve for x. Our previous approach to this was to write 3 and 5 as some base to some power. Typically, we might have had 4 and 8, and we could have written them both as powers of 2. We don't have that choice here. Can't write 3 as a power of 5, or 5 as a power of 2. So what we're going to do is, with equations, throughout our algebraic career, we've learned we could add the same number to both sides, and the equation is still equivalent. We could subtract the same number from both sides, multiply both sides by some number, divide both sides by some number, as long as those numbers aren't zero that we're multiplying or dividing. We can raise both sides of an equation to a power. We can also take the log, base 10, remember nothing's written there, so it's base 10, of both sides of an equation. And when you have the log of a number raised to a power, that law of log says that's the exponent times the log of 3, and that equals the log of 5. To solve this should be fairly easy. To get x by itself, we're going to divide by 2 and by the log of 3. And now we'll use our calculators. We'll look up the log of 5. We'll round that to four places so that 0 0.6990. Hit the clear button on your calculator. Find the log of 3, round that to 4 places, that's 0 0.4771. We're going to multiply that denominator by 2, which is 0 0.9542. And then we're going to divide 0 0.6990 by 0 0.9542. Round that to 4 places, x is 0 0.7326. So solving exponential equations that we don't know how to solve in exponential form, but when we take the log of both sides, we'll be able to solve it as a logarithm. All right, here's one of the state standards. <clears throat> On your calculator, you only have two log buttons, one for base 10 and one for base e, which we call natural logs, and that's coming. 
What if you want the log of some number base 2 or base 3 or base 7? What we need to know is the change of base formula. This says if you have the log of a number to some base, and maybe you don't like that base, probably because you don't have that button on your calculator, you can convert that into the log of the number divided by the log of the old base as a number now and choose whatever base you wish as long as it's the same in the numerator and denominator. I would suggest choosing base 10 since that button's on our calculator. So to find the log of 7 base 4, we can approximate it in our heads. 4 to the first power is 4, 4 squared is 16. My answer is between 1 and 2, 1 point something. But to go to 4 decimal place accuracy, let's use the change of base theorem. So that says that's the same thing as the log of 7 divided by the log of 4. The previous base is now a number, and we pick a new base. And since 10 is on our calculators, that's the wise choice. We look up the log of 7 on our calculators, round that to 4 places, 0 0.8451, hit the clear button. Look up the log of 4 on our calculator, round that to 4 places, 0 0.6021, hit the clear button. And then divide the 4 decimal places by the 4 decimal places, round it to 4 decimal places, and our answer is 1.4036. And if you want to verify that that's numerically correct, well, we said 4 to the 1 point something power should be 7. We can do that very quickly on our calculator. Let's check that the log of 7 base 4 is approximately 1.4036. Here's how we do that. Let's rewrite it as an exponent. The base 4 to the 1.4036 power should be approximately equal to 7. And you remember that button where you raise any base to any power. We're going to type 4, the base. Press that button to raise any base to any power. Press our exponent, 1.4036. Hit our equal or enter. And we get approximately 6.999248354. That's close enough to 7 for Algebra 2. And that's our look at look, uh, first look at using our calculators uh, to approximate logs. But also, we need to memorize the change of base theorem.